Uh, there was one summer that a group of friends and I uh, joined a, a youth group, and we went mountain climbing up the fourth largest mountain in the United States in southern Colorado. And I remember arriving after a 24-hour trip on this dusty bus through Nebraska and arriving at the base of this huge um, sand dune and having to get ourselves sort of physically fit by climbing up and down the sand dune. And then for about four or five days, we got into the job of building ourselves as a team. And that included a lot of stuff that you kind of expect with an outward bound kind of experience. We had trust exercises where you would you know, fall back in the arms of your teammates. We were doing these blind walks through the forest. Uh, we would have to climb up these, uh, these large walls with pulling everybody up and how do you figure that out strategically and getting through um, you know, all sorts of different types of challenges. And so when we finally got on the, the, the task of getting from base camp up to the top of this 14,000 foot mountain, we had different opportunities to take the lead of the team. And so there was one particular person named Felicia who was extremely strong and, and well um, conditioned that her pace heading up this mountain was so fast that a lot of people just couldn't keep up with her. And so we had some problems with that. And then we had somebody else come on, a guy named Robert, who was slower and a lot of people were complaining that the pace was just not fast enough. So it finally came to me and so I decided to find a pace somewhere in between, but I knew that I didn't know what the rest of the team needed at any given time. So I created this communication system whereby if you were thinking that we were going too slow, you would tap the shoulder of the person on the right-hand side, and that person would tap that person's shoulder, and it would eventually come up to me. And if I got a tap, that meant we were going too fast. And so it would slow it down. And so we did the same thing. If people could pick up the pace, they felt that we could go faster, they would tap the shoulder of the person in front of them and eventually would come up to me and then we would go a little bit faster. So it worked out pretty well. And so in that sense, what we were trying to do was create an agreement about how we were gonna to work together. And that's really the end of today's journey today as well, is how are you as a group going to work together? What are the commitments and the agreements that you're gonna make?